All right then, here's the second part of the video. So I replaced already the seal, okay? I use this tool to replace it. So you just go inside there and hook it. Make sure you don't go too deep down because other way you might damage the timing cover. So it comes out fairly easy. It's a cleaner and I use a socket to, to drive it back in. So the socket is, uh, give me a second, let me focus here. It fits right on top perfectly. Actually this was a uh, one inch and 516, so it's a pretty thick wall. So anyhow, I didn't have any problem. So next part I already cleaned the pulley much as I could. You can see a little bit group. Customer doesn't have the money to, to replace it, so I already explained that to them and I it lubricated, put a little bit engine oil around it so that seal doesn't start to work uh, dry. So now from here, it's time to put it back. And I'm trying to do two things at one, well actually three. One is like put the pulley, two, hold the camera, and number three, talk to you guys. So you see it goes right in. So the next thing you guys gonna uh, uh, torque this bolt 102 foot pounds. So if you don't have a torque wrench, uh, just uh, go to your local auto parts store and rent one there. So that they will give you money back as soon as you're done with it, and so you can get the job done the way it's supposed to. After that, it's just all about putting the belt, put the tire back. With this two 10 millimeter bolt that I mentioned early in the video, and that's about it. Probably I will go power wash the engine, make sure it's nice and clean so that way the customer get it back clean better than where he drop it. So it's better that way. Anyhow, again, I hope you like the video. If you do, please uh, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and again, I'm just let you guys try to share what I know and hopefully that can help somebody else. Take care, have a great day, and God bless.